everyone, and welcome to Wilmington High School Wildcat Basketball. My name is Tom Walsh, and it's my pleasure to be bringing this girls' basketball game between the Clippers of Newburyport High and our own Wilmington High Wildcats. On camera tonight with me is Mr. Chris Cassidy. Officials for tonight's contest are Larry Bradley and Bob Rigido. Okay, let's go down for the starting lineup, the introduction. The starting lineup for Newburyport. At guard, number five, Candice Reddy. At guard, number 20, Nicole Mercer. At center, number 25, Rachel Wild. At forward, number 23, Jillian Maloney. At the other forward, number 15, co-captain Mary Beth Miller. And the starting lineup for the Wilmington Wildcats. At guard, number 12, Lindsay Bruno. At center, number 25, Meredith Cipriani. At forward, number 13, Jackie Eldridge. At guard, number 20, tri-captain Renee Spano. And at forward, number 24, tri-captain Emily King. Now, let's all please rise for the playing of our national anthem. Okay, we're only moments away from this uh, game between two really good teams in the uh, Cape Ann League. The uh, New Report Clippers come into this game undefeated, 3-0, and and uh, the Wildcats have a record of four wins and two losses. Uh, the last game they played was a non-league loss to Drakett, and the last league game they played was a victory over North Reading. So the Wildcats are uh, well on their way to the playoffs with a 4-2 and record. Uh, last year, they just missed the playoffs. They had a record of nine wins and 11 losses, and uh, you have to go 500 to uh, get into the um, postseason tournament. But this year, it seems, it seems like the Wildcats do have a, a much improved team, and um, they should uh, give every team in the league a, a real battle for the money. Okay, uh, Meredith Cipriani is the center, and uh, she'll be tipping off against uh, Rachel Weil of the uh, New Report Clippers. As I said, the New Report is one of the top teams in this league. Okay, the tip is controlled here by the Wildcats. Lindsey Bruno has the ball. And the uh, shot is up and no good. Rebounded there by uh, New Report. Number five is Candace Reddy. Over to Mary Beth Miller, back to Reddy. Over to uh, Mercer, shot up and no good. Tipped away and picked up by Bruno, and she's fouled. 
foul is going to be on number 15, uh, Mary Beth Miller. Okay, Renee Spano gets the ball into Bruno. Lindsay brings the ball up over the mid-court stripe, over to Spano. She's looking, drives to the net, puts it up, and off the rim, no good. Rebounded, taken there by Newburyport. Rebounded by Miller. And she gets it to Reddy. Reddy brings it right up the middle, over to Miller. Into the middle, it's uh, kicked back out again. A long shot for three, up. Off the rim, no good. Rebound by Cipriani. Meredith, Cipriani up there. Gets the rebound. Good rebound by uh, Meredith. Okay, here comes uh, Bruno. She's driving right to the basket. Up and no good. Rebounded there by uh, Weil. It's going to be a good matchup between Weil and Cipriani. Shot is up and no good. Rebound is taken there by uh, Weil, and she gets the score. So uh, Newburyport goes on top first. Two nothing. It'll be a real battle under the board between Cipriani and um, Rachel Weil. Both are uh, tall girls. Both are very good rebounders. Okay, uh, trying to get it into the middle to Cipriani. It's uh, stolen by Newburyport. Over to uh, Candace Reddy. Over to Weil. She stops and shots, and it's, she's going to be caught on the travel. She had a clear shot, but she took that extra step. Okay, King will get it into Bruno. Bruno, tricky dribbles, and she's fouled again. Second foul committed by Newburyport. Both have been uh, against uh, uh, Bruno, Lindsay Bruno. And Lindsay is a spark plug for this team. She should do all she can to help her club. There's a lob shot into Cipriani, but uh, she doesn't get it, but there's a whistle, and it's going to be a wildcat ball. Into Cipriani again it goes, but it's uh, over her outstretched hands. Up, back come the uh, Clippers, and uh, there's going to be a whistle. And foul is on the Wildcats. Foul is on Bruno. First foul on the Wildcats. Okay. Newburyport gets the ball in. Into Wild. Wild brings it back out. And she sh tried to get it into the down low. Now it kicks out again. Over to Reddy. She sh passes it cross court. Back to Reddy. Nine seconds showing on the shot clock. Weil shoots it underneath, and there's going to be a foul on uh, number 13, Jackie Eldridge. First foul on Jackie, second team foul. 13.39 left in the first half, and it's 2-2. Oh, nice play by uh, Newburyport, and they missed the uh, shot, and it's going to be a, a jump ball. Uh, Cipriani came down with the ball, but she was tied up. Okay, the ball gets into Mary Beth Miller, Miller, back out to Reddy. She stops and pops. It's up and off the rim. No good. Rebounded. Taken there by King. She gets it over to uh, Eldridge, and uh, there's going to be another foul. I think that's on number 25. I think that's on Weil. Rachel Weil. You might notice we're only using half the stands here tonight. There's, there was a little problem with the stands, and um, I think it'll be remedied by Friday night when the boys play. But right now we're over on the unfamiliar this side of, this, of the court. There's a long shot by uh, Eldridge. It's no good. Rebounded by Newburyport. Down the middle comes Newburyport. Up goes number 15, and she gets it in there. That's uh, Mary Beth Miller. Bruno brings the ball up. Bounce pass is intercepted by Newburyport. Ready with the ball. She knocks it ahead. Oh, nice play by Bruno. Oh, beautiful uh, block by Lindsay Bruno. Number 15, Mary Beth Miller, I think, was the one who uh, attempted the shot. And Lindsay Bruno just knocked that ball away. Okay, back come the Clippers. A long shot by number 20, Nicole Mercer. And, um... That one is good. So we have a 7-0. 
Something nothing is this cooler. That's a three pointer. Twelve fifty left in the half, and his uh, score is Newburyport seven and uh, Wilmington nothing. And the game before this, the JV Wildcats uh, beat the Newburyport JV thirty-seven to thirty-two. We're going to have a uh, busy January. There's a lot of uh, home games for the uh, girls in the month of January. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to bring them all to you. This is just the first of many home games we hope to be bringing to you. OK, right now the Wildcats are down by 7.7 nothing. And uh, talking to uh, Coach Beth Livermore, who uh, said this could be, uh, they could win by five or they could lose by 30. That's how good uh, Newburyport is. Okay, uh, Spano puts it up and off the rim, no good. Rebound is uh, off of Newburyport, so it'll be Wilmington ball. Okay, Jackie Eldridge puts the ball into Cipriani. Cipriani to Bruno. Back to Eldridge, long three-pointer, no good. Rebound there by uh, number 15, Mary Beth Miller. She gets it to Candace Reddy. Reddy. Over to Miller, looking to get it into Wild. She does, stop, shot is up a sword. I think that was a pass intended for uh, Jillian Maloney, and it goes out of bounds. Wildcat ball. Okay, Eldridge gets it to Bruno. Bruno is sizing up the situation. Over to the left to Spano. It's uh, nearly intercepted, but uh, Spano regains control. Looking to get it into Cipriani. Again, it's intercepted by Newburyport, and uh, Newburyport doing a good job on uh, blocking out Cipriani. Is a shot by up and no good by Newburyport, and uh, Spano gets the ball over to uh, Bruno. Bruno up and in. Nice shot by uh, Lindsey Bruno to get the Wildcats on the board. 7-2 to two with uh, 11.40 left in the half. Okay. Ready, gets it over to uh, uh, Mercer. Shot is up, no good. Rebounded there, and there's a scrum on the floor. And finally a whistle, and the jump ball. This possession goes to Wilmington. Over to Spano. Spano, a long shot over to Cipriani, long pass. Cipriani puts it up and in. So the Wildcats caught the Clippers snapping a bit there. Makes it seven to four. Ready, down into the corner, long shot. It's up and bouncing around, no good. Rebounded by Newburyport and intercepted by Bruno. She controls the ball and gets a little message from uh, Coach Livermore. And she loses control and Ready picks it up. And uh, there's going to be an easy basket, number 20. Uh, Mercer puts it in. So a little lapse there by the Wildcats. And uh, Reddy's putting a little pressure on Bruno, and they're going to turn the ball over. So uh, a little pressure put on there, and Wildcats not reacting well. Okay, 10.34 left in the half. It's 9-4. Uh, New report over Wilmington. Okay, Mercer gets it into Reddy. Back over to Mercer. Mercer, long three-pointer up, no good. Rebound taken in by Weil, and uh, it's going to be a travel call on Weil. <clears throat> okay, Eldridge gets it into Spano. Spano goes around to the left. It's a, a pick from uh, Cipriani in a nice little play, but uh, Cipriani's shot does not fall. Taken there by Weil, over to uh, Mercer. She waits for her teammates over to Reddy, fakes, and that shot is gonna be off of Wildcats, so it'll be Newburyport ball. Okay, Nicole Mercer will put the ball into play. And she gets it over to Mary Beth Miller, and she travels. <clears throat> OK, 
Okay, Jackie Eldridge gets it in through Renee Spano. Renee goes around and gets another pick from Cipriani into Cipriani. They try that play again and the same result. Okay, back comes uh, number 20 is Mercer. Over to Reddy. Reddy stops and pops. It's no good. Rebounded there by uh, Newburyport. Finally, uh, Meredith Cipriani comes down with the ball. Gets it over to Jackie Eldridge. Jackie's still wearing that, uh, that protection on her knee. She got a, an injury last year that kept her out of action for the entire year. And uh, Jackie drives the basket and gets foul. Foul is on uh, Reddy. It's the fourth, fourth team foul. Okay, Cipriani tries to get it uh, out and gets intercepted by uh, Mercer, stops and pops no good, and uh, Lyle is gonna be caught on a travel again. She found herself too far underneath the basket and couldn't do anything, and then she moved her foot. Okay, uh, Staff here is in the game now. Leah Staff here. Okay, Spano gets it over to Leah. She gets it uh, to Cahill. Cahill, long shot, no good. And rebound is taken there by Weil. Over to number 12, Danahy. Over to uh, 20 is Mercer. Mercer gets it in the middle to Weil. Weil being guarded by Cipriani, but she gets it up and it's in. Okay, Renee Spano brings the ball up. She drives right to the basket, puts it up and off the rim, no good. Cipriani with the rebound, it's good. That makes it 11-6 with 8.34 left in the half. Long shot by uh, number 20, uh, Mercer is uh, no good. Jackie Elder slows the pace down a little bit. And again, they, she goes to the left side to uh, Spano. Spano in the middle of the Cipriani, she puts it up and she's fouled. Foul is gonna be on number three, Danielle Tucker. No, it's on um, Rachel Weil. That's her second foul, I believe. So Meredith will go to the line and shoot two. Eleven six with eight thirteen left in the half. First shot by Meredith is good. Second shot by Meredith is good. So uh, Meredith Cipriani has uh, six of the eight Wildcat points. Okay, Leah Staff here comes out of the game. Okay, number 20, Mercer brings the ball up. And a shot is blocked, taken there by Spano. Renee Spano brings the ball up. Around to the left she goes. She tries to get into Cipriani again, and it's fought for. Cipriani can't hold on to it. Wildcats trying to use uh, Meredith Cipriani's height to their advantage, but uh, Wild, uh, the uh, Newburyport Clippers also have some very tall players, and Meredith is having trouble getting those passes, those lob passes. Okay, Newburyport working the ball, ball around, get it to uh, Mercer. She's uh, being guarded there by Cahill. Over into the corner it goes to, uh, to Tucker. And uh, there's a whistle and there's a turnover against Newbury um, Port. It's Wildcat ball. The Wildcats uh, make a little comeback here. They were down 7 0. And now they, they've closed the gap to 11 8, just a three point deficit. Renee Spano looking to pass it to somebody. She gets it to Jackie Eldridge. Jackie. Comes around, gets it over to Cahill. Long three-pointer off the rim. No good. Rebounded, taken there, and off the Wildcat hands and right into the Newburyport hands. 
Okay, down comes Mercer. Long shot by Mercer. It's off the rim, no good. Rebounded by Newbury, but out to Mercer again. Another long one. This one's no good. Off the rim. Oh, rebound is... Now uh, they have a whistle. And uh, Jackie uh, Eldridge is holding her shoulder, her left shoulder. She may have got uh, hurt in that, that rebounding action. Okay, we got uh, fresh troops in for Newburyport. And uh, Nicole Mercer comes out of the game. Okay, Newburyport ball was a stop and a pop and good by number 15, Mary Beth Miller. All cats have to be careful not to allow those easy shots for uh, Newburyport. Okay, Renee brings it over the mid stripe, mid court stripe, and again they get into Cipriani. Meredith tries to get it up there, no foul. And again, she gets a rebound, puts it up, no good. And there's a whistle, and I think it's Wildcat ball. Yep, Wildcats uh, control the ball. Out to Renee, long shot by Renee. It's off the rim, no good. Rebounded by uh, Newburyport, and it's a jump ball. As King fought for that ball, fought hard for it. But uh, the possession arrow goes to Newburyport. And Newburyport uh, substituting frequently. They have a lot of good players on this team. Okay, Candace Reddy brings the ball up. Back to Reddy. Over to uh, Miller. Miller drives to the loop, puts it up, and in. And uh, Mary Beth Miller is starting to heat up a little bit. That's six points for her. Renee Spano gets it over to Jackie. Jackie Eldridge. Back to Renee. Renee looking to throw her in the middle. Pops. No good. Rebound by Meredith, and uh, that's no good. Rebounded by uh, Newburyport. Good opportunity by the Cats, but they couldn't convert. And there's a uh, shot by uh, Miller is up and good, and she got fouled. Eight points now for co-captain Mary Beth Miller. Okay, so Miller will have one shot. It's no good. Rebound uh, goes to Newburyport. Number 11 shoots up. No good. That was uh, Elaine Marcos. That's another foul. That's a sixth foul on uh, Newburyport. Okay, Renee Spano tries to get it back to uh, Cipriani, but it's blocked. Long shot by Eldridge. Off the rim, no good. Rebound, rebounded there by uh, Danahy, Caitlin Danahy. And then we have a whistle and a foul. <clears throat> and the foul is on uh, Emily King. And that's the fifth team foul on the Cats. Okay, uh, Mary Beth Miller takes a break. She did a lot of damage out there while she was there. Okay, the ball's out to Marcos, back to Reddy, and then over to uh, Mercer. Now into the middle, it goes back out to Mercer. She's a long shot, that's gonna be short. Taken there by uh, King, uh, Cahill, excuse me, over to Spano. Renee stops, pops, it's gonna be short, and save there, nice save by Groves, Lauren, uh, Lauren Groves is in the game now. <clears throat> okay, Mercer gets it out to Reddy. She's looking to throw it in the middle to uh, Danahy, but decides not to. And she walked that time. <clears throat> okay, we got 4.32 left in the half. It's 17 to eight. Wildcats uh, haven't been able to score for a while here since that uh, free throw by Cipriani. Okay, Lauren Groves brings the ball up. And she's almost tied up by uh, Mercer. And into Cipriani the ball goes, and it's gonna be Wildcat ball. Oh, 
Spano will put the ball into play. She uh, gets it to Groves. Long shot is uh, no good. Rebounded uh, goes to Newburyport. Okay, it's a long shot by number 11 is up and good. That's uh, Elaine Marcos. And it's gonna be a timeout by the Wildcats because uh, Newburyport has a 19 to eight uh, margin here. Wildcats have really gone cold. And uh, I gotta stop and talk this one over for a while. So far, Mary Beth Miller, I have her down for eight points. Uh, Nicole Mercer has a three points, a three point uh, field goal plus a regular field goal for five. Uh, Mark, Elaine Marcos has a basket and uh, Rachel Weil has uh, four points. For the Wildcats, it's been, uh, all the scoring has been done by uh, Meredith Cipriani, who has uh, eight points and uh, excuse me, six points, and Lindsey Bruno has one basket for the uh, total of eight points for the Wildcats. Okay, so see if that timeout cools the Clippers down a little bit so the Wildcats can get back in this game. Okay. Number four is uh, Kristen Kakambaras. And uh, Renee Spano saves the ball. What a Kristen. And Cahill. And, got, uh, and they're going to run out of time. Oh, just gets it off. Okay, Reddy brings the ball up for Newburyport. And they call her on the walk again. So they're putting a little pressure on uh, Candace Reddy. And she turned it over. Okay, Lindsey Bruno slowly brings the ball up. Over to Jackie Eldridge, a shot up there, and good by uh, Cahill. The Wildcats get into double figures. 17, 19, 10 now, with three minutes left. Long shot that's uh, out, in and out, and then this rebound is good by Danahy. Okay, uh, Bruno comes around to the left, and should bounce pass into Cahill, stops, pops, no good. The rebound uh, is taken there by uh, Number 20 is Mercer. Shot is up and uh, good by Reddy. Okay, Bruno brings the ball up. Looking to set up a play. Over to Cahill. Cahill drives right in and shot is no good. Okay, Reddy brings the ball up to Mercer. Back to Reddy. See if Mercer shoots, she does. Lefty lets one go, it's off the rim, no good. Rebounded by Cipriani. And uh, over to Jackie Eldridge, and now Lindsey Bruno has the ball. Wildcats having trouble cracking this uh, defense of the uh, Newburyport. Shot is up and no good, but there's a whistle. And now we have a, a foul on uh, Holloway. And uh, Wildcats. What did I say, White? I, I, that must have meant uh, foul on uh, Elaine Marcos. And they're in the uh, penalty situation now. We have uh, seven fouls, so Renee Spano will shoot one and one. Shot is up and good by Renee. That's her first point of the night. Let's 
second one is up and good. Wildcats making the best of their free throw opportunities. Okay, Mercer brings the ball up. Too ready. Back to Mercer. She lets a long one go. It's around the rim. No good. And the ball fought for. And it's going to be a jump ball. And that's possession goes to the Wildcats. <coughs> Bruno drives to the left. Oh. Well, they don't call anything. And uh, the drive, wow, it's blocked. Here comes Reddy. She's Bruno's guarding her, and uh, shot is up and foul on Bruno. <coughs> That's a two shot foul. Candace Reddy, number five, will go to the line, shoot two. Wildcats have got to find a way of uh, getting into the middle. They just can't penetrate that new report defense. First shot up and no good by Reddy. Second shot is around the rim, no good, and uh, Meredith Cipriani comes down with the rebound. Hands it off to Renee Spano. Again, she drives left over to Bruno. Into the middle to Cipriani, and she can't handle it. And here comes uh, Mercer. Right up the middle she goes, passes it off, and that one's out of bounds. Wildcat ball. Cameras comes in, replaces Bruno. Kristen brings the ball up. Let's a pass into Cipriani go. Meredith puts it up off the glass, no good. Saved there by uh, Mercer. And she gets it off to Reddy. Reddy over to Mercer, into the middle to Weil, and then she gets, puts it down to, uh, uh, Weil gets it again. And they pass the ball real well. And to Weil go, and she's gonna let one go. She get, now she loses it, and let me see. Another jump ball, it's going to go to uh, Newburyport. Mercer gets it right underneath to uh, number 23, and she puts it in. That's Jillian Maloney, her first points of the night. Okay, here comes Renee Spano. She gets it over to Jackie Eldridge. Jackie drives down. Oh, nice play into Cipriani, and she puts it away. Nice play there by the Cats. Nice block, nice passing. Long shot. Off the glass, no good. So the halftime, the score is uh, Newburyport 25 and Wilmington 14. And uh, the Wildcats really have to find a way of uh, breaking into that uh, middle there of uh, Newburyport. They just can't seem to get uh, the ball into uh, Cipriani the way they want to. Okay, so... Uh, at halftime, the score is Newburyport 25 and Wilmington 14. We'll be back with second half action in just a moment. Okay, welcome back to uh, Wilmington High School. We're at halftime in the game between uh, Newburyport and Wilmington. Girls basketball game and uh, Newburyport is ahead of the Wildcats by 25 to 14. We're only about 15 seconds away from the start of the second half. Uh, for Newburyport, they had 25 points. Uh, their high scorer was uh, Mary Beth Miller. She had eight points. Candace Reddy had uh, two. Elaine Marcos, two. Caitlin Danahy, two. Uh, Miller, Miller, eight. Nicole Mercer, five. Jillian, Mahoney, Jillian Maloney, two. And uh, Rachel Weil, four. For the Wildcats, the high scorer was uh, Merida Cipriani. She has uh, eight points. Um, Bruno 2, Spano 2, and Cahill 2. And that's been it for the scoring. So the Wildcats really have to uh, find a way of beating the uh, Newburyport defense. They just can't get that ball into uh, Meredith Cipriani the way they want to. They've tried and tried and tried, but they just can't seem to break the defense. Okay, Wildcats have the ball. Jackie Eldridge will put the ball into play into Renee Spano. 
And the second half has begun. Spano brings the ball over to the left, and uh, it's going to go out of bounds off of Newbury Put. Okay, Eldridge gets the ball into King. King uh, shoots it. Oh, actually, gets a shot up to Cipriani, and uh, she doesn't get it. Cipriani with the rebound, and her shot is no good. And now we have a, a whistle, and uh, I think they're going to say it's Wildcat ball. They say Newburyport stepped on the line. So uh, Eldridge will put the ball into play. She gets it over to Bruno. Lindsay lets one go. It's good. Two points for Lindsay Bruno to uh, open up the second half. Okay, Mercer brings the ball up over to Reddy. Into Wild. Oh, nice play into uh, Maloney. And uh, Maloney gets two points. Okay, Renee Spano brings the ball up. Stops, and she gets the ball blocked by Jillian Maloney. And I've noticed that uh, Jillian Maloney had an ice pack on her hand, and she has uh, some tape on her, on her right foot hand on a couple of her fingers on her right hand. Okay, uh, long shot there by uh, Eldridge is no good, and the ball goes off of Cipriani, so it's the turnover goes to Newburyport. Ready, gets the ball into Mercer. Mercer brings the ball straight up the middle. Over to Ready, into the corner, and it finally goes into the middle with uh, Wild. She loses the ball. Picked up there by uh, Jackie Eldridge to Renee Spano. Now Renee brings it over to the left, over to Lindsay. Lindsay looking to throw it in the middle to uh, Meredith, but she doesn't. She kicks it out to uh, Jackie again. Jackie looking over to a uh, nice pass to Renee, uh, to uh, Lindsay. Uh, drive is no good. And Wildcats lose the ball to Newburyport. Okay, 14.33 left in the second half. It's 27-16, Newburyport over Wilmington. Okay. Into a while the ball goes, and there's going to be a foul called against Eldridge. No, the foul is uh, not on Eldridge. The foul is on Emily King. <clears throat> okay, Mercer gets the ball right into... Uh, while and she scores. Okay, Lindsay Bruno calls the play out. Trying to get away from Reddy. And gets a pick by uh, King. Oh, nice drive by uh, Bruno. No good, but the shot is up. No good. And some vicious rebounding action underneath the basket. And I think the foul is on Bruno. Okay, uh, Emily King comes out, and uh, let's see, she's uh, replaced by Colleen Cahill. Okay, long shot by Mercer, swish, three-pointer. Wow, Mercer is doing a lot of damage. Okay, Spano right to the basket, and uh, his shot is no good, but there is a foul. Okay, the foul is on Mary Beth Miller. And uh, Renee Spano will go to the line and shoot a couple. <laughs> Off the rim, no good. Okay, Kristen Cambris is in the game now for the Cats. Okay, Renee dips, shoots off the rim, no good. Rebounded by Newburyport. Ready, the long pass, nice pass into uh, Wild, and she scores it. And again, we have a whistle, and Wildcats got to talk it over again. 13-31 left in the game, and uh, Newburyport has a Substantial lead here is 34-16. Okay, this, this game tonight is the uh, first of six games we'll have on, uh, first six girls games that we'll have on uh, 
uh, this month of January. Uh, the next uh, game will be Friday, the 8th of January, against Linfield. And um, that's going to be a doubleheader for us. Uh, the girls play, and then uh, the boys play later on that night. That's Friday, January 8th. And then Tuesday, the girls play North Reading here. And then uh, that's the, the 12th. And I'll give you the rest of the schedule in a moment. Okay, the Wildcats trying to solve this uh, Newburyport defense. And ball's nearly stolen. Uh, Jackie throws it up, and it's off the rim no good. Rebounded by Newburyport. Kitty Reddy brings the ball up for the Clippers. And uh, she gets it over to Danahy. And to Weil, she lets it go. It's good. Rachel Weil, six points here in the second half. Spano gets the ball to Cambris over to uh, Meredith Cipriani. She puts it up, and shot is off the rim and no good. Rebounded there by Mercer. Nice pass to Weil. She kicks it back out again, taken there by Reddy. Reddy stops and pops, no good. And the rebound is up and no good. Rebounded by Cipriani. <clears throat> She gets the ball off to Kristen Cambris, and she gets it back to Spano. Renee stops, pops off the glass, no good. She puts it back up, and it's good. So Renee Spano doing a nice job of following her shot. It paid off. She got the rebound and put it back up for two points. Okay, Mercer behind the back dribble, nice. And oh, what a beautiful pass. You know, the shot is up and no good. And. Um, Rebounded by Meredith, and Meredith gets it over to um, Ray Spano. What a great play there by the Clippers. Long shot by uh, Jackie Eldridge is no good. Rebounded by Newburyport. Here comes Ray, another bullet pass intercepted by Jackie Eldridge. She goes right past her man, and she drives right to the hoop, up, and they call a charge on her. Tough call to take right there. Uh, hmm. uh, Meredith Cipriani uh, takes a break. Colleen Cahill, Emily King, Jackie Eldridge, Renee Spano, and Kristen Cambers is a lineup for the Wildcats now. Okay, into Wiley it goes, and now the uh, ball is stolen by Cambers. Here comes little Kristen. She drives to the hoop, puts it up, and it's going to be a foul on Newburyport. I believe that's going to be on uh, Caitlin Danahy. Danahy on the, caught on the foul, and uh, little Kristen Cacambris. Got to be the surest player out there. We'll go to the line and shoot a couple. First one up, no good. Second shot is up and good by Kristen. That makes it 36-19. There you go, Mercer watch with the ball. Okay, the Leah staff here comes in and replaces Renee Spano. Staff here drives to the right. Over to uh, Kristen Cambris, and she gets it into Cahill. Cahill shoots out there, calling Cahill, and she misses, but she got fouled. I think he said 2-5, that's uh, uh, Rachel Weil. I think that's the third foul on her. First shot by Colleen is good. Okay, Colleen has another shot. It's 36-30, 16-point lead here for Newburyport. Second shot is off the rim, no good. Rebound goes to Newburyport. Mercer comes out with a loose ball. And she takes off like a bullet and 
Gets it over to Maloney, back to Mercer. She drives to the hoop, puts it up, off the glass, no good. Rebound goes to uh, Wilmington. That's um, uh, Kristen, uh, Colleen Cahill. She gets it to Leah Staff here. Leah tries to get it to Kristen Cambers, and she tries to get it to Emily King. She does, and Emily shoots it up there, but she gets fouled. And that foul is on uh, Elaine Marcos. So we have a timeout. Timeout, new report, charge new report. 10.43 left in the game. It's 36-20. New report over Wilmington. Okay, so I think I left off with North Reading January tw uh, 12th. It's a Tuesday. The girls have a game. And then uh, Monday, Masconomic comes to Wilmington. Monday the 18th. Hamilton Wynnum, Wednesday the 20th, and then Triton comes in um, on the 29th, Friday the 29th, that'll end February, and we have three games in, uh, excuse me, that'll end January, we have three games in February, Manchester, February 2nd, Tuesday night, Pentucket, February 5th, a Friday night, and then uh, the next home game is Drakeit on the 17th, and that'll be the last game of the season. As I mentioned, uh, Wildcats lost to Drake at their last time out. Drake has a very good team. Okay, Emily King is at the line to shoot two. Off the front of the rim. Okay, Laurie, Laurie Droves comes in to uh, replace Kristen Cambers. Second shot by Emily. On its way, and it is good. Okay, Wildcats fighting hard for the ball, but it goes into Maloney over to uh, Mercer. And uh, shot is blocked and taken there by uh, number 24 for the, for the Wildcat, Emily King. And uh, there's a foul on the play, too. It's Elaine Marcos gets caught on the foul. Okay, Leah Staff here brings the ball up for the Cats. Drives around to the left. Gets it over to uh, Colleen Cahill. Her shot is no good. And they're going to call that a tip ball off of uh, Newburyport, I guess. And so Colleen gets it into play to uh, Lauren Groves. Lauren looking to pass it off to somebody. She gets it over to Colleen. She lets one go from the corner. It's no good. Okay, taken there by Mary Beth Miller. Over to Mercer. She's looking for someone. Go to uh, Tucker. To Maloney. And they call a travel. So Wildcats get the ball on the Newburyport turnover. Less than 10 minutes now in the game. It's 36-21. 15-point lead for Newburyport. Staff here brings the ball up. Gets it over to uh, Jackie Eldridge, but it's intercepted by Mercer. She's going to go all in by herself, and she puts it up. No good. Wildcat ball. So Nicole Mercer had stolen the ball, and uh, she had a free lane right to the basket, but she couldn't convert. Okay, staff here being uh, guarded by Mary Beth Miller. Gets it uh, to Lauren Groves. Lauren to staff here, back to Groves, and uh, Wildcats gonna watch it. Shot is blocked, and uh, we got a foul, and I think Emily King's gonna go to the line again. Okay, the foul is on Jillian Maloney, number 23, and Emily King will shoot two. First one 
drops finally. Okay, Wild comes in and uh, number five, Candace Reddy comes in. So looks like the new report has their starting five out there. It's 36, 22, 14 point lead with 9.16 left in the game. Second shot is up and good by Emily King. She's got uh, three points, three foul shots. Okay, uh, Reddy brings the ball up. You got it by staff here. She gets it to Mercer. She's going to be fouled by Renee Spano. Oh, excuse me, that was Mary Beth Miller, number 15. <clears throat> Mercer, number 20, will put the ball into play. And uh, she gets it to Miller. Across the court to Reddy, into the middle to Maloney. Kicks it back out uh, to Miller. And right underneath and uh, she had nowhere to go with that ball Maloney and uh, Spano brings it down she tries to get it to Cipriani and it's mocked away Meredith gets it uh, over to Lauren Lauren lets one go it's off the rim no good and Mer the Meredith Cipriani has a rebound but there's a whistle and a foul on the Wildcats and uh, the foul is going to be against the Wildcats Emily King. Okay, Colleen Cahill comes in, and uh, Lindsey Bruno comes in, Leah Staff here, and uh, Emily King come out. Ooh. So we put, puts the ball into play. Mercer to Weil. Over to Maloney. Maloney stops, pops off the glass. No good. Rebounded by uh, Cipriani, but I think there's going to be a foul on uh, number 25, Weil. Yeah, she uh, gave uh, Merida Cipriani a, a push there, and and Newby points over the limit. I think uh, Meredith is going to go to the line and shoot a one and one Meredith had eight points in the first half, and uh, she hasn't scored yet here in the second half. That's going to be short. So the score remains 36-23. Ready, brings the ball up. Into the middle to... Uh, Number 12 is a Danahy, and now we have another whistle. Foul is on number 30, that's uh, Colleen Cahill. The ball goes into Maloney. Now Reddy has the ball. Reddy being guarded by Lindsey Bruno. Over to Mercer, and she's going to be fouled by Lauren Groves. Eight oh seven left in the game, and uh, Newburyport has a thirteen point lead, thirty six twenty three. First shot is up and no good by uh, number twenty Mercer. Okay, Spano looking to pass it off to somebody. Gets it over to Groves. Groves well loses the ball, and they're going to call it's a whistle. We're going to call a foul. Nope, they're going to call a timeout. Timeout charge to Newburyport. So 7.49 left in the game. It's 36-23. Newburyport over Wilmington. And like I said, uh, this Friday, Wildcats, girls and boys, will be playing Linfield. And that is a tough team. Linfield Pioneers boys, anyhow, are uh, undefeated. They're 7-0. 7-0 on the season. Uh, their last victory came at the expense of uh, the Tewksbury Redmen, and Tewksbury has the exact opposite record. They're 0-7. And um, they just can't seem to buy a victory, the uh, Wildcats. And uh, Linfield appears to be uh, one of the powerhouses in this league, and the boys. 
So that'll be an interesting matchup Friday night. And Chris Cassie will be bringing along the, the boys play-by-play, -play, and I will uh, do the girls play-by-play -play game just before the boys. Okay, the report brings the ball in, into play. Candace Reddy over to uh, Jillian Maloney. Into number 12, up and shot is no good. Rebounded by Cipriani. Meredith gets it over to Lindsay. Lindsay blows past uh, number 15. To go over to Colleen. Over to Renee. Renee looking, stops, pops. It's going to be short. And there is a whistle. And foul is uh, going to be a two shot foul. Okay, the foul is on Mary Beth Miller. And Renee Spano will go to the line, shoot a couple. First one is up and good by Renee. That makes it 36-24. Wildcats can't quite get a sustained drive here to cut into this lead. The second one is up for Rim and no good. Rebounded by Meredith. Meredith fighting for the ball and she gets fouled. Foul is going to be on 23, Jillian Maloney. And Meredith will go to the line for a couple of shots from the uh, charity stripe. That's a nice one. So Meredith scores her first point of the second half. That's nine points now for Meredith Cipriani. Second shot is up and off the rim, no good. Rebounded there by Maloney. She gets it off to Reddy, back to Maloney. Maloney gets it to Mercer. And here comes a fast breaking Newburyport Clippers. Shot is up and uh, no good by Nicole Mercer. It's uh, Newbury Port ball. Mercer gets the ball in and over to Reddy it goes. Reddy lets one go. It's off the rim. No good. Rebounded by uh, Maloney. Maloney to Mercer. She does a head fake. And now she's trying to pass off. Stolen there by Lindsay Bruno. Lindsay's got uh, Mercer all over her. And uh, it's going to be a foul on Mercer. And you can tell by looking at uh, Lindsay Bruno's face that she knew this. <laughs> that. Uh, Mercer was going to do something to her. She wasn't going to let her have uh, a free shot right at that uh, on the breakaway. So there's a foul on Mercer, and uh, Lindsay will get two shots. Oh, off the rim, no good. And another timeout for Newbury put. 6.53 left in the game. It's 36-25. New report over Wilmington. And the uh, Wildcats are chipping away a little bit here, so we got an 11-point lead for New report. And uh, the Wildcats still have time. There's plenty of time here. Just under seven minutes left in the game. And uh, we just have to wait and see if the Wildcats can put some baskets, some Put the ball in the basket a few more times, more than uh, Newburyport, and maybe pull this one out. Uh, the other sports, Wildcat sports here this uh, winter season, uh, the, the Wilmington High hockey team continues to just uh, excel. Uh, they are still undefeated. They're 5-0-1 oh, now. They had a 2-0 uh, shutout over... Um, North Reading the other night, actually last Saturday. And uh, North Reading has this terrific goalie, Billy Moss is his name. Uh, we saw him last year in the playoffs, and uh, he must have made 40 or 50 saves in that playoff game. But he, he had 37 saves, I guess, uh, against the Wildcats. But the Wildcats did manage to put two shots by him. I think Sean Hobner had both goals, and the Wildcats remain undefeated in hockey. Okay, the shot by Lindsay is up and no good. Rebounded by Newbury Put. Maloney gets it to Reddy. Reddy being guarded by Bruno. She gets it over the stripe, and still, Lindsay's on her. 
And the, oh, the steal by Lindsey Bruno. Now she's got a free reign. Up and in by Lindsey Bruno. So Wildcats trying to make a game out of this. It's 36-27, uh, nine point lead now by the cat, uh, by uh, Newbury Put into number five, ready, and she walked. Yes. Okay, so the Wildcats put a little pressure and it's 6.20 showing on the clock and it's uh, a nine point lead for Newbury Put. This could be interesting. And uh, we have uh, replacements in for Newbury Put. Again, Weil and uh, Mercer come in uh, to replace uh, Tucker and uh, Danahy. Okay, Bruno brings the ball up. She's being guarded by Reddy. Over to uh, Renee. Renee loses the ball, and uh, it's going to be new report ball. Okay, Mercer gets the ball into Reddy. Back to Mercer. Mercer calls out the play. Right up the middle she goes, and she drives to the right. It has a uh, nice drive, but uh, around the rim and no good. Here comes Lindsay. Lindsay drives right to the basket. And that's going to be off of Newbury Port. <coughs> so Wildcats uh, trying to make a run at this, uh, opening the game up a little bit. And into, uh, oh, nice play into Cipriani. Shot is up and no good. Finally, they, they got one to, uh, oh, boy. Looked like a walk there, but they didn't call it. Ready, back to Mercer. Mercer calls out the play. And is a high shot uh, pass to Mary Beth Miller. Over to Reddy. She drives into Wild. Wow, turnaround jumper, no good. And the rebound goes to Wildcats. Bruno has the ball knocked out of her hands by uh, Mary Beth Miller. Okay, Lindsay will put the ball into play into uh, Renee Spano. Spano being guarded by Miller closely. Finally gets it over the big court stripe. She drives to the basket up and in. Nice drive by uh, Renee Spano, who is the leader out there. She's the one who's been showing the leadership for the Cats. And that makes the score 36-29, uh, new report. Uh, into a while ago, she turns around and no good. And a wild, oh, boy. That was a big play there by Wild. She stole the rebound from uh, Meredith and put it in. So uh, Spano being guarded closely by Miller. Let's one go, it's gonna be short. And Cahill saves it over to Cipriani and wow, what a nice play by Colleen Cahill to save that ball. Get it over to Meredith Cipriani. Meredith uh, shot it up there, but she uh, was fouled. So 4.35 left in the game. It's, score, score is 38-29. I think that's right. See if Meredith can cut into this a little bit. That's going to be short again. Meredith, uh, she misses. She misses completely, usually. So she's got to get it over the front of that rim. That's better. Now it's off the back of the rim. And the rebound is fought for, taken down by Mercer. She gets it to Miller, back to Mercer it goes. Over to Reddy. The report slowing the thing down now. Mercer, with a nice move, but the ball does not fall. Cipriani with the rebound, over to Spano. Spano waiting for teammates to catch up with her. And there's gonna be a foul on uh, Newbury Port. I think it's Reddy, number five. Okay, that's the 10th team foul against Newburyport. And uh, two shots for Renee Spano. First one is good. Renee Spano is uh, six points here in the second half. And that's off the rim, no good. And I think we're gonna have a foul on Wildcats. I think they're gonna call it on uh, Meredith Cipriani. And that uh, 
Because the Wildcats are on the limit, they'll go to shoot. The people will have two shots. Jillian uh, Maloney is at the foul line. First one was up and no good. I guess that was a one and one. Okay, um, Cahill gets the ball to Cipriani. And now Spano brings the ball up. Renee Spano gets it around Miller, drives right to the loop and puts it up and oh good. Whoa, what a nice play, but she just couldn't get it to fall and she's was pushed out of bounds, I think they said. I guess it was a foul. They got to call a foul on Newburyport. Two. Yeah, that's a uh, foul is on Weil. Uh, how many fouls is that on her? Well, she's out of the game anyhow. I don't know if she fouled out or not. But uh, number 12, Danahy, Caitlin Danahy comes in and replaces uh, Weil. I think Weil has fouled out of the game. Anyhow, it's 38-30. Renee Spano is at the charity strike. That falls. She gets another one. Seven points now in this uh, second half for Renee. Second one is no good. Off the rim, no good. Rebounded there by um, Reddy. She comes right up the middle. A long pass intended for Miller is out of bounds. So it's Wildcat ball. 3.43 left in the game. And there's a seven-point lead for Newburyport. 38-31. Newburyport over Wilmington. Okay, Lindsey Bruno. Buzzes right by Reddy, puts it up, and off the rim, no good. Rebounded by Cahill, up, no good, no foul. Miller being guided by uh, Bruno. Over to Reddy, back to Miller. Look at Lindsey Bruno all over her. Newburyport screaming for a foul, and uh, Cipriani blocks her. Meredith Cipriani rejected that shot, and here comes Bruno. Oh, she tries a bounce pass into Cipriani, but it doesn't work. Here comes Mercer. Mercer comes barreling right up the middle. Pass it off to Reddy. Reddy picks it up in the corner, brings it back out again. Three minutes left in the game. Over to Mercer it goes. Mercer drives the right side. Cipriani's there, but she puts it off the glass and in. Great play by Mercer. Okay. Renee Spano brings it up. Over to Lindsay. Lindsay Bruno calls the play. Long three-pointer by uh, Spano is no good. Rebounded uh, there by Caitlin Danahy. Over to Mercer. Mercer is the spark plug for the Newburyport Clippers, and she gets around Spano, kicks it back out to Miller. Miller hands it off to uh, Mercer, back to Miller. Long three-pointer is off the rim, no good. Rebounded by Newburyport, up, no good. Rebound goes to uh, Cipriani, and it's going to be a jump ball, and the possession is over to Newbury. Put 208 left in the game. Wildcats down by nine, 40, 31. Okay, Mercer will put the ball into play. She gets it all the way out to Reddy. Reddy back to Mercer. She lets a long three-pointer go. Swish! Wow, Mercer is just killing uh, the Wildcats. Late in the game here, and there's a timeout, and uh, Nicole Mercer has scored, uh, had two three-pointers and a basket for uh, eight points here in the second half, and there have been big points for uh, Newburyport, and she gets the lead back up to um, 12 points. It's 43-31, Newburyport over the Wildcats with just under two minutes left of the game, and it's 56 seconds left in the game. Uh, Ray Spano has been a real spark plug for the Wildcats here in the second half. She has uh, seven points here in the second half and a total of uh, 11 points altogether. Uh, excuse me, uh, nine points altogether. So the Wildcats got it down to, I think, six points a six-point lead, a six-point deficit, I should say. But now uh, Newburyport's got it up to a 12-point lead again, thanks to uh, 
Mercer, who was uh, Nicole Mercer, who's really worked hard. And now there's a steal there by Maloney. Oh, it's stolen, restolen by Cipriani over to Espano. She puts it up and in. Okay, the Wildcats come back there, and Spano uh, puts the basket in. Okay, Mercer being guarded by Bruno over to Miller. Miller guarded by Cahill into uh, Maloney. And it's going to be a whistle, and it's going to be Newburyport ball. Minute 27, 43 33. Then we put it over Wilmington. Out to ready it goes. And to Mercer. Nine seconds. Showing on the shot clock. Ball is nearly stolen. And what do they call? Oh, they call an elbow on uh, Mercer. They call an elbow on Mercer. And uh, Newburyport coach doesn't like that. He gets a technical. Newburyport coach doesn't like that at all. And he gets a technical. The referee turned right around at him and gave him the big gold T sign. So, um... Mercer really did swing an elbow at uh, Bruno. There was no doubt about that. And uh, Newburyport coach took offense to that. So uh, Lindsey Bruno will shoot a couple here on the technical, and the Wildcats will have the ball after she's done. Oh, shot is up and no good. Ten-point lead here with a minute 20. See if Lindsay can get one of these. She does. She has one more. Now they're gonna have uh, Renee Spano shoot the last or the uh, last one. That one's good. Oh, she gets another one too. Interesting. Two technicals, I guess. Okay, it's Wildcat ball. A minute 20, it's 43-35, eight point lead. Yeah, three pointer would come in nice right about now. Over to Lindsay, Lindsay lets it go, but it's blocked, blocked by Jillian Maloney. Over to Mercer, now it goes out to Miller. Miller goes up to the board and no good and Number 12 is uh, Caitlin Danahy is there to put the rebound in. Now what do we got? Well, we got another technical. There's a whistle, and uh, I'm not sure what happened, but I think they threw the coach out. He uh, griped again and uh, has his last word with the, with the referee, and off the court he goes. He's got a 10-point lead, but he kept mouthing off to the referee. And these two guys aren't, uh, aren't afraid to uh, throw the technicals out. Okay, Renee will shoot again. Oh, she missed that one. So Wildcats uh, going cold on their uh, free throw shooting. Oh, Renee misses both of her shots. Cats get the ball back. They've got a, New Report has a 10 point lead with a minute, thir three seconds left. So it's been interesting anyhow. Uh, technical fouls galore here in the last couple of minutes of the game. The opposing coach, the New Report coach gets thrown out into the cold Feb uh, January night. Tossed out by the, by the Zebras here. But the Wildcats, unfortunately, cannot uh, convert on their free throws, and the lead remains a 10-point lead for Newburyport. So uh, Cats have 
just a uh, minute three to do something. <clears throat> Okay, Lindsey Bruno will put the ball in play. <clears throat> Lindsey gets it to Renee. Renee over, over to Jackie. Jackie Eldridge, three pointers, no good, but she's foul. That's the three, three shot foul. 15 is uh, Miller, Mary Beth Miller on the foul. Jackie Eldridge was going to shoot three shot three shots. And I think Miller has fouled out. Mary Beth Miller has fouled out and uh, Danielle Tucker will come in and take her place. Okay, let's see if Jackie Eldridge can get a few points back here. Good. Second one is good. And uh, Lauren Groves comes in and replaces Colleen Cahill. Okay, Jackie has one more shot. Yes, it is a swish. All three of them buried. And uh, now what's going on? It's, it's New Reports ball, 55 seconds. They have a seven-point lead over the Cats. 45, 38. Okay. Mercer brings the ball up. And she's fouled there by Lindsay Bruno. And uh, the ball Cats had no choice, really. They had to have a quick foul. 50 seconds left now in the game. And, uh, of course, they think they could have found somebody better than Mercer to foul. She's, uh, I'd say, undoubtedly the best player out there for Newburyport. She shoots, good. It makes it 46-38. Second one is good. Okay, Spano brings it up. To Bruno, shield three-pointer is no good. And it's the report ball. And uh, Lauren Groves comes in and replaces uh, Jackie Eldridge. Okay. Mercer gets the ball into uh, Maloney. Back to Mercer. Mercer too ready. Ready. He's got to get the ball over the line. And uh, this. Whoa. Now it's a foul on. Uh, <laughs> The foul on Bruno, but uh, they were running out of time. It looked like it was 10 seconds. So it's a foul on Lindsay Bruno. Then that's five on Lindsay, so she fouls out. And poor Jackie Eldridge, who just got out, out of the game for a break, has to go back in. It's 47-38, and Mercer is back at the line. Nicole Mercer misses this one. Thirty-three seconds left in the game. Second one is up and good. 48-38, ten-point lead again. Spano to Eldridge, long shot. That's off the rim. There's a rebound by uh, Cipriani. Up and no good. Uh, rebound goes in, but there's a foul before the shot. And the foul is on uh, Donnell Tucker. And Meredith will go to the line to shoot a couple. Time has run out on the castle. They have a 10 points to make up, and I just don't think they're going to have time to do it. And again, Meredith comes up short. Forcing that ball up there, and she's just going to try and get up over that front of that rim. And I think she'll do a lot better. And that one's off the rim again. Oh, 
Okay, and this one's dragged out here. Foul is on Lauren Groves. And uh, Reddy will shoot two. Candace Reddy at the line to shoot two. Good. No good. Rebound to Spano. Over to Eldridge. She shoots a three-pointer off the rim. No good. Rebound by Cipriani. She puts it up and in, and it's good. And she got fouled. One shot for Meredith. And uh, Houston Cameras comes into the game to replace uh, Colleen Cahill. Nine forty nine point lead for Newburyport. Meredith puts it up and around the rim, no good. Rebounded by Maloney over to Mercer. Mercer being hounded and she gets fouled by Tristan Cacambris. And, and Mercer will shoot two. Ten seconds left in the game. Good. It's 12 points for Mercer in the second half here alone. Make it 13. She's got 18 points on the game and she just killed the Wildcats. Okay, to Cahill, over to Spano. Three pointer is off the rim, no good. Rebounded by Maloney and that's the ball game. Final score is 51 to 40, Newburyport over the Wildcats of Wilmington. So it was a hard-fought game, and the Wildcats had their chances, but they just couldn't come back all the way. And uh, they go down to defeat to a very good uh, Newburyport Clippers team. They lost by 11 points. The next game will be, next girls game will be Friday, uh, January 8th, right here at uh, Cushing Cushing Gym uh, to Wilmington High. And uh, also, we'll have a boys' uh, game uh, against the Linfield Pioneers, a girls' and boys' game this coming Friday, uh, February 8th. So for Chris Cassidy, who's done a great job on camera, this is Tom Walsh, and uh, we'll see you next time on Wildcat Basketball. Bye for now.